The 2005 Ford Championship at Doral could not have scripted a better showdown on Sunday. There they are, Woods and Mickelson, duel at Doral. Tiger Woods versus Phil Mickelson in the final round. Trading shot for shot, an epic battle. Only one can come out on top. The dream pairing would live up to all the hype and then some. Who will land the knockout blow to take the title? Jack Nicholas has won at Inverary. Absolutely incredible. Be the right club today. Yes. Go in. Oh! There it is. 59. The best final round ever. Oh, my. <laughs> Welcome to this edition of PGA Tour Classic, the 2005 Ford Championship at Doral. Since 1962, Doral Golf Resort and Spa and its famed Blue Monster Course have played host to the Ford Championship. Known for its finishing hole, dubbed as the Blue Monster, this 443 yard par four is often ranked as the toughest finishing hole on the PGA Tour. The course is located just 12 miles from the Atlantic Ocean and the world's best are set to kick off the Southern Swing in style. It's like playing a major championship, a world golf championship or the players championship. We don't get to have the opportunity to play together very often. I know Ernie's not here, but it's still just in a great field and uh, we don't get to do it very often. So uh, it is a lot of fun. Tiger Woods is ready to regain his status as world number one, while Lefty has other plans. Woods and Mickelson are all smiles as the duel at Doral Golf Resort and Spa commences. Who will have the last laugh? Round one action is underway. The only player in the top 12 not in the field this week, Ernie Els. And the galleries come out to show their support. But it is the play of Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson that everyone has come to see. We pick up the first round highlights with Mickelson putting for birdie at the par 4 7. Coming off a bogey at 6, he moves to 2 under. Then he caught fire on the back 9. The tee shot here at the par 3 15. 166 yards right over the top of the flag. Another birdie for Mickelson. Ahead to the 16th. Mickelson almost drives the green after a 322 yard tee shot. He makes birdie and moves to six under. And then this to get the seven under par. All phases of the game continuing to work after back to back wins in 2005. Lefty trying to finish strong. His second at the Blue Monster. He's hit six of 14 fairways today, but he's hitting the ball so far, accuracy is taking a back seat to distance. And he gives himself the opportunity to end with a rare birdie. Mickelson cards his 10th birdie of the day, six in the last eight holes. I've been able to, with one simple change, back in September, increase my distance off the tee, increase my uh, distance control with my wedges, and I've been able to, to, to hit it a lot closer and make birdies. Coming down here at the Blue Monster, I was able to hit a lot of short irons, a lot of wedges into the par fours, and knock it five or six feet and make birdies, which last year I didn't have that extra 20 yards to do that. I wasn't able to get wedges into a lot of the holes, and that's what happened in Phoenix, what happened at Spyglass. Tough golf course, but I was able to drive it long enough there to hit wedges and make birdies. Tiger Woods looking to answer Mickelson's birdie barrage. Knowing that Mickelson shot 64, Woods birdies one and three, and has this lengthy putt to move to three under, he drains it. Then at the par five eighth, Woods gunning to regain the top spot in the world. Sneaks it in the right edge, and he moves to four under. And then Woods for another birdie at the par three ninth. Three in a row, five in total. Tiger Woods out in 31. 
Woods was unable to capitalize on the two par fives on the backside, carding only pars. He has this 15-footer at the last to shoot an opening round 65. He gets it. He one putted the last seven greens and took only 23 putts on the day. His flat stick compensated for his errant day of driving. He hit only five fairways. But the stat of the day, Woods just polished off his 60th consecutive bogey-free round. Phil Mickelson said he's playing the best golf of his career. Firing an opening round 64, he's tied at the top. Flashback to the 2004 Ford Championship at Doral, where Aussie Craig Perry tamed the Blue Monster with this memorable approach. The improbable hole-out eagle from 176 yards was one of the greatest shots ever seen on the PGA Tour. Back to round two action where Phil Mickelson and Tiger Woods are in a duel. Woods, who started on the back nine, is playing his second at the par 414. He moves to seven under. Then his second at the 17th, after birdieing the 16th to get to eight under. This from 116 yards. And he gets it back to nine under. And then Tiger, looking for three in a row to finish his opening nine here at the difficult 18th. From just off the green to 10 under, out in three under 33. But then Tiger began to stumble. After four birdies in a row, he makes bogey at two. And then Woods second at the fourth. After a bogey at the third, he cards another bogey and falls back to eight under. His second at the fifth from 114 yards. An up and down day for Tiger. He makes birdie there and gets back to nine under. And what has Phil Mickelson been up to? He started on the backside also. This is his second at the 16th. After a 325 yard drive, he cards birdie and moves to 10 under. At 18, making the turn, Mickelson is hitting on all cylinders, including his putting stroke. Out in three under 33, he's 11 under and tied for the lead. Mickelson's third at the par five first. Just a few inches from the hole. Another birdie for Mickelson, and he is 12 under. Ahead to the second for birdie from the fringe. Mickelson continuing his torrid pace. After his opening round 64, he forges ahead and gets the 13 under. Lefty is finishing up his round at the 169 yard par three ninth. Mickelson is atop the PGA Tour leaderboard for his ninth consecutive round in a stroke play event. His 14 under total was one stroke short of the 36 hole record at Doral. He heads to the weekend with a two stroke lead. Mickelson is five strokes clear of Woods who shoots 70 and puts an end to his remarkable bogey free streak at Doral. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic. The duel at Doral. Tiger Woods is battling in the third round head to head with Phil Mickelson. Phil in the fairway at the par four third, playing his second shot from 146 yards. That produces a birdie to get to 15 under. Tiger Woods is set to play his approach at the par 5 8th. Tiger Woods from 96 yards and spins it back beautifully, leaves the putt underneath the hole. He would make birdie. Mickelson is three strokes clear of Woods, but his bogey at four drops him back to 14 under. 
ahead to 14. 63 now you see the hole location up over the bunkers on the far left danger long and left calls for a little draw sort of a funny fall through on Murphy needs to get down oh what a shot it got down right behind the hole Woods makes birdie out at the seventh you can see what he has left there at the par four 16 under the leader by three Roger well Fells left himself 100 46 yards in the hole, and the wind just dropped. That's been the story of the 2005 season for Phil Mickelson. Looking for his fourth birdie in the last five holes. And he gets it. Woods on the tee at 16, trying to drive the green. He is aimed right at the green. No draw here. Going to hit it right over the people's head. Well, 320 yards to the front edge. Look at this. Unbelievable. What did I tell you? Unbelievable. There has not been a single player in the field in three days that has carried the ball on the green. Tiger's booming drive produces a birdie, and he moves to 17 under for the championship and is now just one shot back of Mickelson. The duel at Doral is heating up. Phil Mickelson looking to extend his lead at the 603 yard par 5 12. Yeah. Boy, didn't fool him. Another birdie. Got a 19 under and take that, Tiger. Woods is in the fairway at 18. 151. It's a controlled little shot here. A little punch. Didn't hurt the direction on this one. Tiger Woods all over it. Looking at a nice little 63 if he makes that. Over at 16. Mickelson. This will be six birdies in one par if he gets this one. The deaf chip shot sets up an easy birdie. Tiger Woods here in the respect from the crowd as he makes his way up. The monstrous gallery greets Woods at 18. He started the day five strokes back of the leader, Phil Mickelson. He has this six footer to head into the final round just two shots back. It will be a showdown on Sunday. Mickelson and Tiger Woods paired together in the final group. Doral could not have asked for a better duel. It is not only Phil Mickelson versus the Blue Monster on Sunday. Lefty will have to wage a battle against his playing partner as well. It is what the golfing world has been waiting for, a head-to-head -head matchup. With Tiger Woods looking past all of that, he is looking to take back the number one ranking in the world. Bill Mickelson and Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods, the second-ranked player in the world. Mickelson, the fourth-ranked player in the world. Mickelson with a two-shot lead to begin today. Final round action is underway in Miami. In his previous nine stroke play events, Phil Mickelson has a scoring average of 66 with 59 birdies. Here at the par five first, a beautiful up and down for Mickelson. He extends his lead and gets to 21 under. And then Tiger answers with a birdie of his own. He stays two shots back. At the second, Mickelson is scrambling to save par, and he judges it perfectly. Woods would make par as well. We move ahead, Tiger Woods on the tee. At the par five eighth, Gary. Well, these are huge tee shots, huh, Gary? Well, you virtually have to hit the fairway to have a chance to go for the green in two. They certainly have the length to reach this 560-yard par five, and Tiger, 
is just fine. Got a lot of roll, too, Gary. That must be out there about 330. Yep, that is uh, going to be easily reachable. That's driven all the way that down to the crosswalk. Right the camera right there. That is a crazy drive that's so far. Mickelson's tee shot, not as pure. Phil Mickelson ready to play, Roger. This from 237, just in the primary cutter rough. A little taller grass behind his ball than he'd like, but not bad. Got it hit solid, that water's there. That's a three iron. Now this ball going at the left side of the green. Safely aboard. Okay. Mickelson goes to 22 under, and Woods would make birdie as well. Woods has birdied the par four fifth also, and is just one shot back. Ahead to the par three ninth. That did he? No, it's it's safe, safety. He had the right club, indeed. Just left it out. Just wasn't the shot he pictured. Phil's also selected in Nader. This ball just right of the hole. Beauty landed it right, pin high. The pressure is rising as the players make the turn. Both make par at the ninth, one stroke separating them. Wood stays focused on his game only. Up ahead, par 411, second for VJ Singh. Has to get it going here on the back nine if he's got any designs. Spin back now. Singh who dropped in that nice par putt to 10th. Get it to 19 under if that one falls. Lefty is in the fairway at the 551 yard par 5 10th. He pulls a three medal and stares down the hole location. Two sixty five to the hole John he ended the wind he's going to have to hit it to get it there I think. Is it cutting. Sorry, Johnny, I lost it in this bright sky. Well, it cut all right. Uh, it's not a bad spot, though. He's got all the green to work with. It would take him three shots from there, however. Mickelson's aggressive style of play proved costly and opened the door for the charging Tiger. He has this short putt for a birdie at 10. Tiger Woods has caught Phil Mickelson. Fourth birdie of the day, four under. Well, isn't this what everybody in the country wanted? Eight holes to go, all square. <laughs> See what happens. The showdown on Sunday is living up to all the hype. Woods and Mickelson all knotted up with eight holes to play. It is truly a two-man race at the 2005 Ford Championship at Doral. Back out to the 11th. So hole is 402. They'll give you money. Tigers work part of this hole every day. Wow. He must be a little pumped up, you know? That everything's going a little long right now. He's feeling his oats. Woo! He's over there again on the left side. Each would make their fours at 11. Crowds swarming to the 12th tee, Gary. And the par five that measures 603 yards is by far the longest of the par fives here. And as you might expect, has played as the most difficult. Tiger's last bogey of the week was here in round two. He has played the hole for three rounds and even par. Maybe a little right, Gary. Go! 
crunch. Another perfect drive, setting up a golden opportunity to go for the green in two. Two ninety-seven to the hole. Not quite two eighty to the front. Says his three wood goes farther in his old trusty three wood. Well, we're gonna find out. The overcut. This ball headed at the center of the green. Oh, <laughs> that's a long carry there with the three wood. Didn't even watch it. The Johnny the Amazing didn't look like he was happy. Exactly. I thought he felt like he mishit it a little bit by his reaction. Woods just barely carries the bunker and has a chance to take the lead away from Mickelson. It's all about Woods and Mickelson in the final round, but don't count out B.J. Singh, who's making a run of his own. He's in the fairway and ready to make birdie. to 14. And VJ Singh, 168 yards. He's leaning at maybe a little left of the flag. Right at it. So VJ has given himself a lot of opportunities. A birdie for Singh. All right, Mickelson's third, Roger. Yeah, this from 78 yards, hell wedge. Perfect line, perfect angle. Number one and knocking it close to the flags this week. I think he'll be a little disappointed with that one, Jay. Yeah, that's a little short. Leaves a little bit of a le right to or left to right breaking putt. Another look at this three wood. 278 yards to the front edge of the green. The ball carries the bunker by about a yard. It's a big hop forward. Got a pass hole high. Eagle opportunity. Woods with a chance to take the lead out right here. Stalking this eagle putt. Three birdies, no bogeys going out. Bring the two par fives and a short par four fifth and then a birdie on ten. Roger, a very quick putt here. This is uh, a putt that I have seen players race the ball by the hole a good uh, four or five feet if they try to make it. And it does have a little movement to the left on it? Just a little, very little. Well, neither one of these players, well, I guess with the exception of Phil making about a 20 footer there in the first hole, neither player really made a putt away from the hole, you know, a big putt to get going. Uh, you can see the green there, there's some little brown areas. This. Uh, Part of the putting surface, very dry. It is downhill and very quick. Get it all. Get it all. Get in there. Oh, how about it? How about it? Tiger Woods to 24 under par. When he made eagle on 12, I loved it because I want a chance to compete against him at his best. And when he knocked that in, he was 600 through 12 holes, and I, I think he was playing at his best. I didn't want him to be giving it to me. I wanted to have to go after it. When he knocked that putt in, I loved it. And a big uppercut punch there, Gary, for emphasis. A lot of references to this being a heavyweight bout. That was uh, quite the punch. Wilson safely in with par. Now two behind Tiger Woods, who makes the improbable eagle at the 12th. I haven't played my best against him head to head. My record is not that great, but I've always been coming from four or five back, and now's a real test for me to see if I'm able to play at that highest level. Put it in the middle of the green and try to cut it just a little bit. Ball is turning left to right, and this is right at the flag. Yes, it is. Wow. 
Not many shots that close all day. <laughs> I've gone head-to-head -head with Phil in major championships, but this is a totally different feel because uh, majors, you just make a bunch of pars and sprinkle in a birdie here and there. Here, we're going to have to sprinkle in a couple pars and make mostly birdies, so it's a different mindset. This is a huge putt for him to come back after just giving up the lead for the first time. This putt should move a little bit left. Oh. In the hole, baby! Yeah! Yeah! Right in the hole. Phil picks up one on a beautiful shot on this par three. Mickelson is fighting to regain the lead. He moves to 23 under and is in the fairway at 14. This now from 170 yards to 7 iron. Phil's got up. Another perfect place for that little low cut he hits, John. Yeah, whole location left front today. There's a three quarter Whoa. shot. I'll be right. He Come likes on. it. Oh, and it's cutting and it's just right of the hole. Yeah. Talking to it. Even the best players in the world talk to their ball. Tell you what, that's pretty impressive after Eagle on 12 by Tiger getting a two shot lead and then Phil coming back with the best shot on 13 and then sticking that one in there. Woods is on the green in regulation at 14. This to increase his cushion and stay in Mickelson's head. This will give you an idea of how Tiger's been in the birdie zone this week. The most birdies he's ever had at the PGA Tour event. 97 Pebble Beach Pro-Am when he finished behind his friend Mark O'Meara. He had 27. He currently has 26. This could uh, tie that mark. Wow. Nothing like the eyes of an athlete when they're at work. Is he going to make it, Murph? I think so. I feel it. I was just checking. I feel it. Bit left. Get in the hole. He hits it firmly, it goes in. It broke, it started yeah. inside yeah. left. He obviously read it to go a little right. Sort of like uh, turn out the lights, but all of a sudden Phil makes the improbable birdie on the three par and could be back to all square, all even. Yeah, you're right, when that eagle fell at 12, Johnny. A distinct feeling that was almost the inevitable, but this is the new Phil Mickelson. I mean, this is—he's continued to smile his way around the golf course and adopt the new attitude that we talked about earlier that he took into the Masters last year. No panic here. Did he learn something from that putt, being maybe right edge or inside right? Murph, my opinion, yes. In other words, uh, I think if anything, he would have a feeling that it may die a little left. Roger. I would think so, and I think this is the kind of putt that you're not going to hit real hard. It's downhill slightly, so I would expect he would allow for some break to the left. Certainly keep it in the hole. We'll certainly get this crowd supercharged if he makes it. Started the back nine, one down. Um, three holes later, I'm two up. Two holes later, we're even. Phil answered my eagle with back-to-back -back birdies, which was you know, just huge for him to suck it up like that and hit quality shots and make quality putts. We have a tie with four holes to play. The Blue Monster nearly became a course of horrors for Ernie Els as he battled Tiger Woods during the final round in 2002. But he survived with six consecutive pars to hold off Woods by two strokes. Ells had an eight-stroke lead to begin the day, and he finished strong. Ells earned his first tour win since the 2000 International. The only other player in the field with a realistic chance of putting pressure on Woods and Mickelson oh. is Singh. And his chances just fell by the wayside with that missed par putt at 16. Pretty much clears the stage officially, Gary, for the Woods Mickelson showdown here. Crowds make their way over to the par 3 15th. 
Shortest par three here at the Blue Monster, 166 yards today. And Mickelson coming off back-to-back uh, -back birdies to get it back to 24 under. Locked at a duel with Tiger Woods, who has designs on reclaiming the top spot on the world. So much at stake here today on this final Sunday at Doral. Well, Phil's got a nine iron here, so this isn't going to be a little three-quarter swing, John, 166. Don't want to come up short here. Very, very high, a little right of the hole. Good distance control, definite birdie putt, not much break from there. That's a very fine shot. He likes it. Tiger's got an eight iron. Really high. Well left of the hole, going at the left center of the green. Now an advantage for Mickelson at the 15th within birdie range. The duel remains deadlocked at 24 under through 15 as they head to the drivable par 4 16th. This ball is Go. turning right to left, Go, but I think man. further left than he wanted it to. Yelling for it to go. I think and that'll catch the fairway bunker. It does, Roger, it does. He's got the big club. Ignition time, Gary. <laughs> I tell you what, the sound this thing made yesterday was, you could hear it all the way up here at the green some 330 yards away. He said it. he only went at that drive yesterday 90%. Do you believe that? Well, <laughs> no. He's looking right at the green. Deep breath. Watch the torque that he puts on this club uh, on the backswing and the follow through. Well, here it comes. Will it get up? It is short and right, and that is uh, not the best of positions. Ahead to the green. Tiger putting to save his par. Tiger Woods bogeys the shortest par four on the course. So back to 23 under. Mickelson with a chance to take the lead back with this par putt. Yeah. 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 Oh. This next one is no gimme, guys. He said I hit a good putt. Woods and Mickelson tied through 16. Only one could be the champ here. Will it be Tiger Woods? Will he reclaim his top spot in the world? Or will it be Phil Mickelson who will win his third straight stroke play event? Ahead to the fairway at 17. Probably figuring land a little short, get a, one little good bounce forward, a little bit downwind, what wind there is, and there isn't much. Sand iron here, just right in the hole. Woods puts himself in position to regain the lead with one to play. However, Mickelson has a birdie bid. Once again, Jim McKay and Phil Mickelson in quite a discussion about the line. Tiger Woods second shot inside Mickelson's by about 10 or 11 feet. This putt of Phil's almost 40 feet and he's putting toward the setting sun, so it'll be with the grain. A putt that's probably a little bit on the speedy side, although not particularly downhill, maybe slightly. Move ever so slightly to his right as he gets toward the hole. It's just not very well struck, Roger. No, it wasn't. Very poor contact there. 
fact, he almost came up and out of it and did not strike the ball very solidly. It's pretty close to the hole, though. It's better than yeah. running a good one by yeah. five feet. Yeah, that's true. I'd say this is the most pressure these guys have been under in a long time. I, you know, the Ryder Cup's pressure, but individually, when's the last time Tiger was this nervous, you know? Probably at the President's Cup when he was going head to head with Ernie Els. Having to make some clutch putts. And Phil's been just waltzing around, you know, doing the a nice little dance, but uh, not against this man. This is the kind of stage this man likes, though, isn't it? I've seen him hold a bunch of these putts toward the end of a tournament. Uphill, moving to his right. In the heart! your new number one golfer in the world. Is that the blow that's going to get it done? The exciting conclusion when we return. Welcome back to PGA Tour Classic, the 2005 Ford Championship at Doral. Well, Mickelson has been so resilient all day long. That eagle looked like it would spell his doom at the 12th, but he came back with birdies at 13 and 14 to tie it up. They exchanged a couple of bogeys at 16, but Tiger Woods with more magic at the 17th. 71st hole of this championship. Had the eagle earlier. And another birdie lands to 24 under. And look at that determination on his face. And the look on Mickelson's face is the exact opposite. They head to face the Blue Monster. Well, he's had a lot of hauntings with the driver, and he needs a good one right here. He's been playing it great. He's got the perfect shot here with his distance and carry. The water is a non-issue unless he happened to hit a, a flip hook. But he could block it in the right trees, and those um, banyan trees are no good at all over there. But he's probably thinking another killer right down the middle. Can't play so there. much better than that, as Ken Venturi would say. I think it's Steve says, I like that putt and I like that drive. And I like our chances. <laughs> In the fairway, Woods is ready to play his second. Can't help but think about Craig Perry and last year, but in the playoff with Verplank, holding it out from it's this fairway. Very hard for Tiger to even hit anything inside that car that's in the background. You'd think he'd be going for that back right tire. Perry was 176 yards in that playoff. Just about the same distance for Tiger here. The good news is Tiger can play a draw, and that's a perfect shot for this one. See where he's looking. He's looking out by the bumper. Well, this ball has started well right of the hole, and it's not turning left. Well, it's an opening for Phil, and that's a very fast uh, a shot from over there, running down that hill towards the water. So Phil's got an opening. Birdie will probably get him extra holes. Listen to the crowd rise to the occasion here, knowing. It's been that way all day long. You're either Mickelson or you're either Woods. And they're pulling their man on right now. Wouldn't surprise me at all to see him just stuff it in there within eight feet, Roger. Phil's now got a six iron now, Johnny, so I think that little cut punch is what you were talking about is the shot he'll undoubtedly try to play here with that club. He's looking right at the car with a cut. There it is, punch cut. How's a look? A little deep. Might have been a little bit too jazzed up. Mickelson needs to make up a shot here on Woods to try to force it 
to extra holes. They've lived up to the hype in this much ballyhooed duel at Doral. Mickelson beginning the day with a two shot lead. Woods now one better as they come up to the 72nd hole here. Tiger's got about a 40 footer downhill. It's got to go through about oh, 18 inches, two feet of fringe. Well, we've all got our money's worth today. Tiger Woods, of course, up to this point is six under for the day. Mickelson prepares to hit the most important chip of his life. Uses his putter grip on this little chip and a putter type of swing. Just brush the grass. Was right in the heart. I mean, I don't know what to say. It was tracking with three, four feet to go. It looked like it was going to go right in the middle. And uh, again, that's the uh, same thing that happened on the putts. It looked like you're going right in the middle and kind of kick off at the end. When I was looking, that thing was just center cut. I, I could see it. It was high. It looked like it was going to break right into the hole. And then it must have just dove across the face of the hole because it uh, had perfect speed. It looked like it was going down there like a putt. Look at those eyes. Oh. All that hard work almost paid off big time this week. The thing that made it special today is that we both played well. You now, win or lose, we both played well. And, you know, I think that's, and that's what I'll take out of it. I enjoyed and loved playing head to head against Tiger at his best. It was great fun. There was a lot of positive things that uh, happened. This is putting back into the green. Sometimes those things can squirt a little bit, but uh, not a lot of breaks, certainly. I think maybe a left center putt and hit it firm. This puts it away. It gives Tiger Woods the top spot in the world again. to be a part of something like this. Today, we had to be aggressive, we had to make birdies, and we were both doing it. I mean, we're both making birdie after birdie after birdie. I make an eagle, he comes right back with two straight birdies and, and ties it up. I mean, that's, and that shows the, the, the kind of guts that Phil has. And, uh, you know, it was just a tremendous battle all the way, and I was just lucky enough to come out on top this time. Congratulations, Tiger Woods, winner of the 2005 Ford Championship at Doral. A PGA Tour Classic. <laughs>